Hi everyone. Um, I was very grateful that we got a chance to do this guided prayer exercise. Um, I did it with a bunch of my friends over, um, I'm in Santa Cruz, so we went to the beach and got to do this together. Um, it was a really powerful time. Um, I'll speak for myself personally that um, because this is the season of Lent, one of the practices that I'm going through each day is to think through different experiences of pain, either in my community or in other communities, um, as I prepare for labor of my baby, um, I'm trying to think a lot about how Jesus redeems pain. And the one that I was focusing on, the pain that I was focusing on today was the pain of shame uh, for women. And so to read this passage and to read it with other woman friends of mine was a really, um, yeah, just a really enlightening, um, transformative time. And so I'll share a little bit about that, but uh, one of the things that stood out to one of my friends, which is why I was glad we did this in community, uh, was that because we were at the beach, um, she noticed that when Jesus bent down to the ground um, and began to write in it, that she was, and we all were sitting kind of on this canvas, because we were all <laughs> sitting on a beach, and she um, just kind of shared that she felt like if Jesus can write kind of on the ground, no one knows necessarily what he wrote, um, but if if he can write on the ground, um, how much opportunity is there for God to really speak to us if we would have eyes to see um, all of the places where maybe we just normally trample on, kind of like a large beach, um, but would actually have eyes to be uh, mindful and aware of where God might actually be saying something uh, personal and um, relevant. So that, that was a really great insight that I had never thought of before. And it especially helped that we did this exercise um, at the beach together. So we were aware of kind of our environment, our surrounding and the ways that scripture was speaking to that. Um, and I think just for me, as I've been reflecting on shame uh, through Lent, this story I think really reminded me of uh, Jesus's nearness. So I think reading this in community, uh, sitting with other people and realizing that in this story, um, bodily presence is such a essential part of how Jesus communicates his forgiveness to people. Uh, that those who kind of cannot cast a stone uh, have to walk away, but in the end, Jesus remains with the woman. Uh, with the woman, and so I think I just felt a, a deep companionship with Jesus, um, knowing that he remains with me, knowing that he remains with those who uh, can be marginalized or or alienated in society, and so very powerful. I was really grateful to do it. And I'm looking forward to reading or watching all of your posts. So thanks so much. Bye.